Okay. Hi. So I currently have very energetic dogs right now, but we are going to move past and we're going to have a great story time. So I'm going to tell you the story of something that I never in a million years thought I would ever experience. And it happened fairly recently. So it happened on New Year's Eve of 2021. So just going into this year. And my parents and I decided to go visit my sister who lives in Woodbury, Minnesota, which is like a suburb city outside of Minneapolis. And, you know, we thought we'll just have a normal little holiday and ring in the new year. So we drove up to Woodbury and we spent New Year's Eve, uh, most of New Year's Eve with them at their house. And then at around like three, four o'clock, we're like, enough family time for the day so we um drive back to our hotel which is attached to the mall of america it's the radisson blue so it's super nice in the winter time so you can just like go into the mall don't have any you don't need to wear a coat you don't need to carry around anything you can just go up to the hotel anytime you need so it was a very convenient choice for us but anyways we um go back to the hotel and we're like let's just do some shopping and my dad is like obviously no we're not gonna do some shopping but he comes with us anyways and we go down to macy's and we bought a lot a lot of stuff at macy's <laughs> and my dad was like you know i'll just bring up the bags to the hotel and you two can continue shopping um just give me a call like where you are and i'll come find you so that ended up being a huge blessing in disguise that we'll find out. So my mom and I were like, where should we go? It's a huge mall. Where are we going to go? So I was like, I really want to go to Kendra Scott because I love their jewelry and I wanted to get a necklace a little to treat myself, a little Christmas, New Year's Eve gift for me. So my mom and I were walking over to Kendra and we stop about two stores down at this store called Draper James, which is the Reese Witherspoon, like Southern Belle boutique that just opened about a month or two, like before this whole happened, so in October. And I was like, you know, I really don't want, this is not my style. I don't really wanna go into that store. I'll just meet you at Kendra Scott because it's just two doors down and you know, whatever. And my mom's like, no, let's just, let's just stay together. And I said, I really don't want to, but whatever, I'll stay. So we just go into Draper James together. And obviously I find something I like and so does my mom. So we head back to the fitting room. And so we head back to the fitting room and they just have it like um, behind a wall. So you can't really see it from the main um, kind of shopping area. Uh, so we go back, we're trying on clothes, and then one of the workers, it was just my mom and I and two workers that were about, like, had been only a year or two older than me, and one of them comes back and says, we're going into lockdown, this might be a drill, but we're going to follow protocol, which is staying back here, lights off, doors locked, and we'll let you know of any further information, and my mom and I are like, what <laughs> and the first thing that pops in our head is where's my dad and my mom calls him right away he said i was just about to leave the hotel room and my mom's like no like stay mall's going into lockdown stay in the hotel so we're still in the back area we come out of the like fitting rooms after we get changed back in our clothes and we see three workers now so one of them must have been in the inventory in the back um and then a couple with a little seven month old baby girl and a 63 year old man um who we will call mike and he ended up being like this calm body during this panic filled time and you know i'll probably never ever see him again in my life but it's someone i'll never forget and he like he was there it was just a bunch of us like my he's like the only guy next to the like couple and we're waiting in there like 10 minutes goes by and we we have no idea why we're in lockdown 
Um, and then they said, it's not a drill. Like, we're in a real lockdown at this point. And we found out through Twitter that there was a sh active shooter situation on the third floor of the mall. And we're on first floor. So the third floor kind of is the food court area. And we're like, like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> like, this is insane. And we're waiting there, and it's about five o'clock when this whole happened, this whole thing happened. And we're sitting there, and we're like, "What do we like? What do we do? Like, this is, this is crazy. This is insane to me." And we basically found out all of our information through this whole active shooter, the shooting situation, everything, like the cops, all this thing through social media. Like, we didn't hear anything from like the mall, like the mall security or police. We didn't. Everything was through social media. And we're on the phone with my dad, and my dad's trying to calm my mom down. And I was, I was getting nervous. I was kind of panicking, but I stayed pretty calm, which is odd because I don't have that kind of response to things. I definitely panic straight away. I do not stay calm. I panic. And this time I wasn't, which is very odd to me but we were in lockdown for about an hour and the 63 year old man who we'll call mike mike was just tr like talking to us having normal conversation with us because we had two of the work like one of the workers was starting to kind of become very panicky and very nervous and very anxious and he just calmed her down and distracted her from everything and I'm like, if he wasn't here, I think it would have been a whole like change in environment. It would have been so different. So we, at about an hour, we were in lockdown for about an hour and they released everybody and we just, they closed them all down early and we, nothing, we didn't hear anything of what's going on either. So we're just kind of waiting there. We just know it's an active shooter situation. We know that the cops are here. We don't really know what happened, what triggered this whole thing until later. So we left, we got out of the mall, ran back to the hotel and sorry, my dogs are barking, but we ended up heading back to the hotel. We met up with my dad and um, apparently the whole story was that two guys, um, were it might have been gang related not really sure but it, it was two guys that were shot one was shot in the arm and one was shot in the leg i believe and they were all okay everyone's alive um and i'm not exactly sure if they caught the the shooter at all but it wasn't exactly this huge thing it was definitely scary of course but I also like, I'm looking back at like the events prior to that. And I was about to be separated from my mom because I was going to be locked up, like having a lockdown in Kendra Scott and she would have been in a whole different store. If my dad never went up to the hotel with our um, shopping bags, he would have just went up to third floor at the food court where this whole thing kind of happened. And it would have been possibly a different story. So, you know, everything happens for a reason and you're, you're at the point where you should be and as much as it was a scary situation you know I just look back and there's a lot of things to just be grateful for and the fact that you know my sister wasn't there with my two nephews so grateful for that because I found out um, there was a couple that wasn't so lucky there was a mom who was separated from her husband and her two kids through this whole thing and I could just about imagine how horrible that is so everything worked out it was definitely scary it was definitely sad for those who were in directly involved with this but um it was definitely a story that i will never ever forget in my life so that's it <laughs>